first time I met Brian, he was unconscious and he was fighting for his life. We found out uh, that I had cancer and that's when everything changed. Almost the entire left side of his liver was uh, taken over by tumour. It was even crazy because like Randy and I had been trying to have a child for a while. We were worried that perhaps his tumour might become unstable during the procedure and his blood pressure may spike. And I started like most people with alcohol and then marijuana and then pills. And then by the time I was a late teenager, I was a full-blown heroin addict. I picked up hepatitis and that doctor told me, well, you're just taking 20 years off your life. These areas of white are not normal. They should not be there. You know, one day we're moving along, everything's good. The next day, your dad has liver cancer and has six months to live. Tumors, because they are growing in an uncontrolled fashion, are extra thirsty for blood. Something like this, Lorenzo, he says, I have a, a sniper squad. He says, and I go into where that cancer's at, and I go in there with my sniper squad and we wipe them out. We kill them all. Just over 50 years ago, surgery was the only option for many serious medical problems. Thanks to some innovative doctors and their stealth approach, we now have the tools and technology to treat these problems using a wire inserted through a tiny pinhole in the skin. No surgery, no stitches, no scars. This is an inside job. By injecting dye directly into the body, they can see the unseen. Traveling through the blood vessels like highways, they penetrate the microcosmos of the human anatomy, offering big solutions without big incisions. Expanding the realm of the possible, giving hope where there was none. This is the story of today's real superheroes, the inspired doctors who are saving lives and treating clots, cancers, disease, stroke, all without a scalpel.